Alright guys, it is another day in hell in the shithole state of Texas. At least the wildflowers are beautiful. We do have some beautiful wildflowers growing in the shithole state of Texas. Here on this dreary Monday morning, April 10th, where I'm getting the fuck out of Texas. Starting a 15 hour drive. So, uh, <clears throat> anywho, I don't know if I mentioned the chapter one of this uh, of this story of Hambone attempting to feed his little dog. What do you think, little dog? Uh, so, uh, this story had its beginnings how many days ago uh, where I was at the grocery store with one of these big ass, cheap ass bags of factory farms chicken in my hand. $4.90 for 10 pounds of chicken. You know, I cook this dog chicken and brown rice. I cook for my dog because uh, it's cheaper to cook than it is to buy dog food now. It is cheaper to cook for your dog. Uh, so I've been, so for the past year or so, I have been cooking uh, chicken and brown rice. I make these big old five pound hunks of uh, five to seven pounds of food at a time for him. So last week I'm at the store holding in my hand a 10 pound bag of chicken for $4.90. Have it in my hand, I put it back on the shelf of the grocery store and because I remembered I already had some chicken from the last bag to cook, so I got back home and saw that I did not have the chicken. It was something else that I thought was a, a goddamn bag of chicken. It was not a bag of chicken. So I turned around and took a second trip to the store to buy a bag of chicken for this fucking dog. So I get there and you know what they tell me that they just sold the last bag of chicken that I had my hand on and put back on the shelf uh, the night before. But they said, don't worry, if you drive 12 miles to the next store, the, the, you know, the lot bigger store, then uh, there's plenty of bags of your $5 chicken there. Get in my gas sucking truck. I drive 12 miles to get the second bag. Well, you know what I'm saying. Uh, to get the first bag of chicken. It is the second bag of chicken I have had in my hands, but maybe this bag of chicken will actually make it into the cart. So I get there all sorts of bags of chicken. So I buy the dog uh, his big bag of chicken and it actually makes it into the cart, makes it back home. So yesterday with everything else I had on my plate, I spent well between you know, slicing up the chicken, cooking the chicken, adding the rice, cooking the fucking shit, waiting for it to cool off, and then I had to, then I had to go through the fucking chicken and debone uh, the molten hot chicken, burning my fucking fingers, deboning the chicken, so the fucking uh, dog went and choked to death. So I made this absolutely beautiful uh, big thing of chicken and brown rice for this dog. It was a two-week supply of uh, at least two weeks, at least two weeks. Uh, so I finally got it. So give the dog his dinner last night. He loves his chicken and rice. 
So I get all of this fucking chicken and rice and I divide it up and stick it in the refrigerator uh, and freezer, you know, where I was staying so I could pack it up this morning to bring to Hotlanta GA. So I get up this morning and start packing my cooler. So I go, I, I comb the refrigerator with a fine tooth comb, making sure that I have not forgotten anything. You know, I, I get all of the chicken legs. I had 20 chicken legs. It was the thighs that I cooked them. So I, I get the 20 chicken legs uh, out of the refrigerator. I get the pack of hot dogs uh, out of the refrigerator. I get the cheese. I get the milk. I actually remembered my, my chopped garlic. I was so proud of myself. I, uh, you know, I, I fill up the, the cooler, I go in the freezer, get the ice out of the freezer, get the bacon and all of this shit. I make one more uh, search through the refrigerator in the freezer to make sure, uh, you know, I'm picking up shit, I'm moving shit around, I'm, I'm looking back behind all of these plastic, uh, there were all of these plastic containers uh, full of stuff. Uh, you know, I, uh, I opened one of these plastic containers and found some like three week old beady weenies and, and you know, like, like what the fuck are all of these plastic containers uh, of leftovers and I uh, said, fuck it. I satisfied myself that I had gotten everything out of that fucking refrigerator and freezer, pack up the cooler, haul it out to my truck, lug it up to the, to the back of my gas-sucking truck, and head off. Well, you know the phone call I just got from my friend uh, going ham bun. Uh, when you go to feed Sancho tonight, uh, just letting you know that you, you, you know the five to seven pounds of dog food taking up half of my fucking refrigerator and freezer is still sitting in my refrigerator and freezer. She's going. I knew I should have gone uh, along behind you and made sure you had everything, but I know you're sick and tired of me micromanaging your life around here, so I gave you the benefit of the doubt that you got everything out of the fucking refrigerator. So here I am, now my dog has no food, but we do have 20 chicken legs and a pack of hot dogs so uh, me and the little dog will not starve we will be eating chicken legs and hot dogs uh, you, you know something is fucking as easy as cooking a bag of chicken. I have turned into so far a three-day adventure. Let's see, five dollars into the chicken. Uh, let's call it a dollar two into the rice. Uh, how much gas did I burn? How how much three dollar and nineteen cent a gallon gas did I burn? making two, no, I'm sorry, three trips to the grocery store uh, all together. Three trips to the store uh, to get a fucking bag of chicken that is now sitting in the refrigerator in Canyon Lake, Texas, 
while uh, I am uh, heading into the shithole of Houston, Texas, which is another rant uh, coming up down the street. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get out there and enjoy cooking chicken and rice for your dog while you still can. Bye, guys.